Ooh, high toys is going hard. <sighs> Let the games begin. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jay with Brother Cousins Toy Reviews, and that's right, I am back with the news. So, we all know it's a war going on, y'all. <laughs> with this Vulture figure, damn. I mean, you got so many companies doing it. As you all know, Jazz Inc. did a great representation of, uh, of the Vulture, their Iron Scavenger figure, and it's amazing. I think Yost is doing the last couple of batches of it. It's gonna be about, I think that's about $500, and he said this is gonna be the last batch that he's doing so get them while you can all because another company out there is working on it um toys era they're doing a version and um it's significantly cheaper and as of last week they expanded the wings i think that the wings on that version were a little different they weren't as accurate as the jazz ink version but since then since the community was talking about it they went in told everyone that yes they're actually going to increase the wingspan to match pretty much the jazz ink version Ugh, kind of bad but kind of bad for yos because people really want it even i myself was looking at that and was like hey maybe this is something i can get into but now but now even crazier hot toys is deciding to once again dig into their crates and pull out another banger let's check it out what am i talking about boom boom this right here so they drop so hot toys dropped this image last night this teaser image of the vulture from hot toys now if you guys don't all know several years ago when uh homecoming came out at a convention at a comic con i believe it was at a forget which one it was there's so many cons throughout the year um they actually showed this at a convention they showed this everybody was wondering where, if it was going to come out like a lot of things that they show at conventions it fell into obscurity and they never went and did a pre-order for it or ever went to release it or anything like that so we thought we would never get it yost goes and makes his version everybody likes his version his version was great toys era comes out with their version and now Hot Toys seems to be going back to the well and pulling out this banger and like, hey, you guys want to do it? Watch us do it better. So here it is. That's right. They're doing a vulture. It looks like they're doing a vulture. We haven't got a pre-order or anything like that yet. They haven't shown anything official, but they threw this out here. Some people may feel that, hey, this is a scare tactic. I mean, we kind of seen the same thing with the whole 2022 Batmobile, uh, Robert Pattinson, the Batman Batmobile. Um, they dropped the image for that, but we haven't seen anything yet. You know, come on, Hot Toys, where's where's the prototype? Where's the pre-order? You know, nothing. But they did throw this out. This makes it very interesting. Want to know if Hot Toys is going to bring it out? If they went this far to do it, they're probably like, hey. You guys want to do it watch us do it better and we'll probably even do it at a better i don't think if they do release it it's gonna be i think it's gonna be pretty much in between it's not gonna be as much as the jazz ink version and it's not gonna be as cheap as the toy era version and i think you'll get a head sculpt you'll get you know you'll get you'll get all that you'll probably get movable arms and stuff like that um the the right um the pulse rifle and all that stuff that uh it looks like a pulse rifle the <laughs> the the yeah the uh the electronic rifle that uh comes with the toys era version that one will probably have this one too just mere speculating of what it can possibly have but if i think hot toys is gonna go and do it they're gonna go all out for it and do it so yeah that's gonna be very very interesting to see you know how all this develops i mean damn damn i think you know a lot of companies out here are trying to challenge hot toys and i think hot toys feels that like hey we got a reputation to you know uphold so they're gonna jump in and they're gonna you know do their best in putting these products out and then here it is they already engineered it they already put it out for some reason they didn't want to put it out at the time i don't know if they didn't they thought it would be too much to produce but if, hey if they see a market for it you know they see a market like with jazz inc or if they see a market with toys era i think like hey if people want this thing let's go ahead and give it to them we already made a we already made a prototype all we have to do is paint the prototype revise it a little bit 
throw a pre-order on it, set a price, and there you go. Bob's your uncle. So I don't know. I, I, I mean, what? The, I think the question is, you know, for you guys, would I get this? And I would say probably, yeah. <laughs> I'm probably going to get this one for my toys because it's probably going to be like I said, right in the middle. I kind of was on the fence about getting the uh, the toy, the Toys Era one because it's the Toys Era one. It's like it's good, but how good can it be for that price? You know what I'm saying? So that, you know, keeps me a little skeptical. And I'm not a big, I don't buy too many third party figures. I only have one and that's the Space Wizard, Ebony Maw. Um, so, and that one's fine. I wasn't looking, you know, the, 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 the clothes can be better on that figure, but you know, I didn't need the greatest uh, Ebony Maw figure in my collection. I mean, I think the head sculpt's phenomenal, but you know, some 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 third party figures in my opinion they just don't hold it up they just don't do it for me personally um but there are a lot of good ones out there like that killmonger figure oh my god that that looks great i mean yeah i think i may have to get that one but that's a whole nother other topic but i wasn't you know i i, I kind of thought about getting it at first but the toys era uh, uh vulture figure but i kind of you know talked myself out of it then the jazz ink one is great um and it looks good but i think it would be almost kind of a boring figure to be honest with you i mean it looks great and the presence is amazing but once i find a place for it in here it's you know it, it'll just be in one pose i i think i it'd be something that i would kind of get tired of looking at um at some point and then i would eventually sell it off but i think the hot toys version would be just the, the if if the engineering is what i think it would be it'd be right in that middle ballpark for me the price would be there um the articulation and the wings and all that other stuff would be there the the head sculpt would be we'll get a totally a better head sculpt of uh of uh God, I forgot his name. Michael Keaton would totally get a better head. We know we're going to get a better head sculpt with Hot Toys than as of Toys Era. So I think, you know, if they do put this out, this will probably be something that I will get um, if they put it out. You know, who knows? Maybe this could be a scare tactic. But if they went this far, and like I said, it's not nothing for them to go ahead and, you know, pull out that old, that old prototype and put a price on it. And then there you go. So really think it's coming out. Um, on another thing I want to bring up with this is they updated the Batman figure. As you can see right here, we have an updated, they said a latest prototype, uh, pro latest product update. So with the prototype, they changed the hair a little bit. Looks like they changed the painting on the sculpt. And this thing looks phenomenal. I got to admit, it really looks good. Now, you guys know I've all said on various streams recently that i'm not going to be buying this line unless they give us a selena kyle and i'm sticking by that i mean that i have enough batman figures right now um i love this movie i thought this movie was really good thought it was really great but i don't think it was good enough for me to add to my collection right now um you know especially you know with the uh with the queen studios in our uh joker i'm getting in the dx19 i'm pretty much back into the whole Nolan verse of Batman films. So I really don't need to get, add this to my collection right now, but if they do give us that Selena Kyle, I will get this figure along with Selena Kyle, just saying. Um, but anyway, with that being said, this sculpt looks phenomenal. I think this figure looks phenomenal. The sculpt looks amazing. Um, totally updated the hairstyle. Um, you get two magnetic hairstyles, so you get this hairstyle, and then you get the other one, which is a real good touch. Also, a way for Hot Toys, I guess, to save money, and they could just give us a whole little, total different head sculpt. But they're doing this whole switching out the hairstyles now, so I don't. Know. I mean, they don't need to change the sculpt, but I mean, hey, if it's easy for them and it's easier on our pockets, whatever, right? So you get that now with the figure and you also get a updated, you get an updated body physique and bat suit colors. So they changed the colors on the suit to make uh, match more what I looked in the movie, which looks great. I'm so glad that they did this. I hope Hot Toys starts doing this more often with their products. Um, because um, we all know what happened with the <laughs> that Spider-Man with the uh, with the with the golden black Spider-Man figure. Wow. 
I think that thing is going to be in the bargain bin for a while, to be quite honest with you, because it was not accurate to what we saw in the movie. So they're kind of learning from that, which is great. And this is why they're giving us this updated suit. Even Although it looks really good, I think it's great. Um, as I said before, I'm not really looking to get this Batman until they release a Selena Kyle. And that's just what it's going to be at, that, at this point. So guys, pretty much that is the updates for today. Um, but that was some real interesting news to bring up to you guys. Um, just to let you know, tomorrow we will be doing uh, Good Morning Grails. We'll be uh, showing the Obi-Wan Kenobi from Revenge of the Sith. That is going to be fun. Also, I got some uh, unboxing and reviews coming up for y'all. Man, damn Toys Wonderland. I've been waiting for my Django Fett and my uh, Moff Gideon. Um, they should be here this week. I don't know, a lot of other people have got it. A lot of other people have done reviews on it um, so far, but they haven't seen mine yet. So I'm going to be doing a review on those when they come in. Those should be in no later than Thursday. So I should probably have those reviews up by Thursday night or Friday for those two figures. Um, on the other hand, uh, Snowspeeder Luke should be in today. So real excited for that so um i'll be working on that review for you guys and i should have that for you tomorrow so it's gonna be a big star wars day for you tomorrow you're gonna get uh the obi-wan good morning grails and you're gonna get snow speeder luke uh tomorrow evening after i edit it and everything of course so tomorrow is gonna be a big star wars day good way to kick off uh uh, uh star wars celebration for you guys so that is gonna be great anyway guys it's been real Talk to you later. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, bang that bell for notifications, and all that good stuff. I'll see you on the next one. Peace, and we are out.